Everybody kept telling me how hyped this game was going to be. I'm sitting here, I'm watching this game, and I'm like, okay, Jackson State is going to make, Jackson State is going to right this ship today because this is a big game right here. They're playing none other than their rival, Southern University. Guys, this is what, the Boombox Classic? Is that, this, this is what they call it, right? So, okay, cool. So, I'm sitting here thinking like, man, this game going to be smoking. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just, I'm pressed up on the TV trying to figure out, okay, what, what's, what's really going to go down today? And then this happened. Guys, y'all already know your coach is back at it again, 10 toes down. And I'm going to tell you how it went down. Because you know I got to give you my rendition of what I thought of this game this Saturday. Because you know what? Some here just ain't making much sense to me. And I got to get it off my chest. So are you ready? Hey, but first, welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Hit that notification bell so you get all these videos. And not to mention, guys, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Not to mention, guys, be on the lookout for the rules for the giveaway. It is coming this week for the rules, that is. I'm going to give you the rules this week so we can get everything together. I'm going to put a video up so that you know what's going down and what exactly needs to be done so we can get this thing done. But, guys, we're going to get into this Jackson State game because this Jackson State game literally had me in tears. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was sitting here boohooing like a baby because I just couldn't understand what in the world is going on. When you go, Listen, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I believe, I, I do believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. You're going to hear me say that over and over again. I love football. I love everything that's going on. I love when you bring energy into an organization or bring energy in any place and you get a re, you get the reaction from people in a matter of which is going on in Jackson State, Mississippi right now. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I just knew for the I just knew for the life of me this game was going to be something that was going to have me sitting here like wow this was epic because I remember the game back in 2019 when they played against one another and it you know Jackson State lost by was six points I believe the score was 24 to 30 they lost by six points and you know what I said hey this game is going to be something special and I actually said that in the previous video I kept saying hey you can you can expect daggone. Um, Skelton to run the ball anywhere from 10 to 12 times. And you know what? He ran the ball 15 times. Not to mention, you had Lampley come out there. He ran the ball a couple times. And then you had three other running backs that came out there. They ran the ball themselves for a total of 294 yards. Yes, you had five backs. That's two quarterbacks and three running backs. Run for five. For, excuse me. You had three, two quarterbacks, three running backs. That's right. Five backs. Five rushers running the ball for almost 300 yards. Now, when I sit back, I said, okay, uh, uh, um, Skelton was back in the pocket. He threw two interceptions in the first half in which, you know, Jackson State was able to keep themselves in the game. They were able to finally score a touchdown on a 75-yard touchdown uh, that uh, Jalen Jones threw. Now, the crazy thing is, I'm sitting there saying to myself, I said, okay, guys, this game is really going to get a little tight. Now, let's see what happens. Coach always decided he's going to put Lampley in the game. So Lampley comes out there, and he throws him a couple of touchdown passes. Heck, matter of fact, Coach Brown decided he would go for it on fourth down, and guess what happens? They don't get the first down. They ain't gone. Uh, um, uh, Southern ends up getting the ball back, and Lampley comes in the game. I'm sitting there looking like, okay, Skelton going to come back in the game. What are they going to do? No, nah, Coach Oldham's is trying to put more points on the board. Let me tell you something, guys. Coach Oldham reminds me of one of them old school coaches I coached against back in when, you know, coaching out there at Rec, where he'll sit there and, hey, he'll tell you straight up, hey, I'll stop doing it when you're able to stop it. And when I tell you Coach Odoms and the Southern Jaguars beat Jackson State from open to close, how Jay-Z say? Grand opening, grand closing. That's what they gave them. Grand opening, grand closing. And the crazy thing is they scored first. Southern, that is. Scored first. They scored on, they scored a touchdown with, I mean, you got Skelton running the ball up the middle of the Jackson State defense, the first play of the game. And I keep trying, like I kept, I was telling one of my other buddies, I said, listen, they're coming out there to deliver pain for 60 minutes, to deliver a message to Jackson State and Coach Prime to let them know, we don't care nothing about you having a daggone Hall of Fame coach here. We don't care nothing about you having all of this experience of coaching and play, you know, players that played on a top-tier level. They don't care about all of that. They was built from the mud. And they come in here to sling mud in your face and let you know y'all ain't ready for this work. And guess what? That's exactly what they did today. Because when you say, listen, I sat here and watched Coach Odom and the Jack is I watched that here and watched Coach Odom and Southern score a touchdown, turn back around and kick a freaking pooch kick, excuse me, onside kick to get the ball and go back down and put more points on the board. I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, are you serious? 
This game was turnovers, kickoff, I mean, turnovers, uh, 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 onside kicks, punt blocks, you name it. And, I mean, I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And I, it, it's almost like everything that daggone Coach Odoms and Southern, the Southern Jaguars did to Jackson State, it just like the, the level of intensity just went down. It just went down. It just went down. And, I mean, I believe the intensity was down from the beginning when the game started. Guys, I'll be like I said, I keep it real with you guys every time I get on here and talk. The craziest thing was the fact that the defensive back for Jackson State, okay, they was out there balling. They was doing their thing. Yeah, they, they missed a couple of plays here and there, and they looked a little lethargic when that last touchdown got scored right before the half. It looked like, you know, it, it just looked like everybody was zapped after that. Like, they, they just didn't know what to do. And I'm sitting there like, guys, come on, y'all to collect yourselves a half and get it together. Only to come back out, and then you allow Southern to run up the middle of the daggone blocking scheme on a punt to block it. For the man to pot, for the man to have the opportunity to scoop and score, only to knock the ball out of bounds at the two yard line. Come on, guys, where's the fight at? Listen, there's one thing that was missing with you guys today, and that is P I T, P I T, not P I T Y, not pity, because we don't do no pity party here. P I T, you know what pit is? That's passion, intensity, tenacity. There was none. There, there just was none today. And I mean, like I said, Southern just came out there. They are delivering a message, letting you know every time y'all play us, this is what you can expect. And I, to be honest, and not to mention, their, their, start, their starting quarterback is not playing. I don't think Skelton's going to be the starting quarterback this season, from what I'm hearing. So if that's the case, all the film that you had, all the film that you thought you had on Southern, you really don't have anything. You, you know, you might have something as far as the different sets that you can watch and, you know, you can go off those keys as far as what, what's going on with, you know, certain things there. But outside of that, if you ain't seen this quarterback play, I mean, this is crazy. And I'm like, not to mention, if they're able to effectively bring in two quarterbacks, excuse me, if they're effectively able to play two quarterbacks where the quarterback that was sitting on the sideline is able to come in and take over the game without it being a problem, that's scary, man. Not to mention, did y'all not see that Southern did that against Arkansas Pine Bluff and they just came, they barely came up short from winning that game? Yeah, Lampley came in there and threw, threw, threw them daggone touchdowns. He threw some interceptions too, along with uh, Skelton. But I'm just saying, they had opportunity to come back and win the game. So they're never out of the game. I'm just telling you right now, it, you, you got to come with 60 minutes. If you're not coming with 60 minutes, it's going to be a long game. And guys, like I said, this week, I hope you guys are able to get yourselves together. Because if I'm not mistaken, you guys are getting ready to play Alabama AM. and And you can't afford to lose that game. I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, we got players missing assignments. We got we got to get it together, guys. I don't know if something's going on with uh, uh, – if some players is upset about something's going on or, you know, you got a uh, new scheme trying to get put in place or, you know, you're not understanding the plays, guys, collectively. And that showing today looked as if you guys had not practiced in two weeks. And if that's the case, guys – that's not that's not good. That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well at all. And that's not you. That that's not you. And I'm sure all of any any of you Jack State fans out there will probably say the same thing. That is not what we've seen before in the past. But like I said before, the blocking has gone downhill in the past three games. It's gotten worse. So we got to figure out and get together, guys. Because like I said, you can't win the game without your quarterback standing up right to make a play. And Jalen's going to have to be he, – he's going to have to – you got to give him them assurances that he's going to be able to make the plays for you. But, guys, like I said, till next time, Coach A, hey, Coach A here to – Coach A here to rag on you. That, that ain't what it is. I just want to see you guys do better. But I had to give you my breakdown, my personal breakdown of the game because, like I said, there's some things that, that got my mind a little rattled as far as what's going on. And I – listen, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say this and I'm closing out. I've written this thing, like I said, for – this is the fifth time I've done this video – for concerning this game because I had I had to take my coaching hat off and just put my my visual you know just put my blind put my just put my eyes on it and see how I saw it and just call it the way it is because like I said I I I'm, I'm passionate about this thing guys don't forget to tap a friend two three four five tell them to come on in guys y'all know this party is live but until next time if you like the content please like share subscribe that's right guys subscribe to the channel like these videos share these videos comment on these videos and hit that notification bell so you can get all these videos and remember guys you can follow us on social media the links are listed down below in the description and remember be the one and leave